Welcome to A Pearl in Every Cow's Lips here. This series was recorded here in our classroom with actual students. You just get to listen in. We are using curriculum from Christian Light Education, and this is Language Arts 7, Book 1. Language Arts 7, Lesson 7, Indirect Objects, doing some review. What word modifies a verb? What part of speech modifies a verb? Adverb. Adverb, good. An adverb tells how, how when, when, where. And how, when, extent. where, and, and to what extent. extent. Excellent, or to what degree, if that's the way you like to say it. Um, verbs can be either action or being. Being. Good. Um, a noun means a person, place, or thing, or idea. Great. Okay. And what do we call the word in a sentence that comes after the verb and receives the action of the verb? Mm -hmm. the, direct object. the direct object. Perfect. Direct object receives the action of the verb, and we talked yesterday about you kick the ball, the ball receives the action, it goes flying through the sky. Do you remember what our little sentence was from yesterday that we had on the board? Mother baked a pie. Mother baked a pie. That's a perfect sentence for direct objects. Now today, we're going to talk about indirect objects. This is something that doesn't actually receive the action of the action, but it receives the direct object. It kind of like doesn't receive the verb, the action of being kicked, but it receives the ball, the direct object. It receives not the pie, the pie receives the action of being baked, but our sentence today, mother baked me a pie, uh, me is not receiving being baked, but it's receiving the actual pie at the end. So let's go through this and find the direct object, but let's start with that list of directions that we talked about yesterday. We had our list here. Um, what's the verb? Find the verb. Baked. Baked. Who or what? Baked? Mother. Mother. Mother baked who or what? Pie. Pie. Excellent. Mother did not bake me. Mother baked the pie. And the pie is the direct object. Now, we say subject, verb, direct object, and then we ask, for who or what? Or to whom or what? To, to, to me. Mother baked a pie for me. me. Indirect object. The indirect object will always be found between the verb and the direct object. Stuck in here, you'll find the indirect object. And the indirect object kind of receives the action of that verb. Mm -hmm. And if there's no direct object? If there's no direct object, perfect question. There will be no indirect object. Maybe when you get several more years older, we'll see some sentences like that. But for now, no. If there's, there has to be a direct object for there to be an indirect object. You cannot have a sentence that just has an indirect object with no direct object. Okay? And remember, for direct objects, you always need to have an action verb. So we'll always have an action verb, direct object, and then stuck in between the action verb and the direct object will be the indirect object. Okay, let's diagram this, this kernel sentence, this little kind of model sentence that we have. Mother baked me a pie. We're going to diagram it. So start with the baseline like this, divide it in the center, put the verb here. Baked. Mother is the subject. Mother. Baked, who or what? Direct object, make this line straight. Make it straight, don't slant it. Mother baked pie. And then for the indirect object, you go like this. It's kind of like a prepositional phrase, but there's nothing on the preposition line. You know, here, here, and, ah, they're writing pie. Me. Mother baked me a pie. And you put the A under this. An X. An X, where? Under line. B, a pie. Not up, the top one. Under baked. We need an X here. Yeah, yeah. that's what we did. A big one. Put a big X there. Yeah. I don't think that's. I don't think that's. Well, I don't think that's necessary, and they're not showing that on this, um, on these diagrams either. So you can let your little X out of there. Maybe that was something to help you, because it was new. But no, X's are not necessary. This is perfect. Mother baked a pie. Baked me a pie. Now let's go to this next sentence, and we'll, we'll step through the. But before, mm, yeah, let's go ahead and work through it, and let's. Let's diagram the subject, the verb, the direct object, and the indirect object. First of all, with the verb. From his chair, the teacher Yay. gave Dick and Jane a stern look. Gave. Good. Who or what gave? Teacher. Teacher. Teacher gave who or what? Dick. 
and mm -hmm. Jane. Jane. Did he give Dick and Jane? Oh. It's like, here you go. Have Dick. Have Jane. A stern look. He gave a stern look. What's the noun in that? He gave a look. Look. Good. Teacher gave look. You need to look out for these and that you don't go with a Dick and Jane. Now, the teacher gave a look to who or what or for who or what? A stern look. Under look. Okay, let's try to find the indirect object next. Uh, Gave the look to who or what? Dick and Jane. To Dick and Jane. So, slide your line down here, and now we're going to fork it, because we have two of them. And Dick, Jane. Dotted line. Dotted line, and. Okay, the teacher from the chair, the teacher gave Dick and Jane a stern look. Now, I want to work through this sentence and find some. Give me some adjectives from the sentence. Mm. Stern. Stern. Out. Stern. Good. More. Um, his chair. His. From. His. Excellent. Oh. Two more adjectives. Uh, the. A. The. And A. Always remember A and a the. Don't forget them. So let's put A and Stern are modifying what? Look. Look. So we'll put them under look. A. Stern. Now, his and his, uh, let's let the his off right now. The is modifying teacher. Teacher. The teacher. Now, what do we have left? We have from his chair. We've got this part. From his chair. This is answering, is this an adjective or an adverb phrase? Adjective. Is it telling which, who's, how many? Adjective. Or how, when, or where? Uh, it's an adverb. It's an adverb. Is telling where from his chair. So therefore, we it modifies what? Does it modify teacher or does it modify gave? Teacher. No, gave. It has to modify gave if it's an adverb. It has to modify the verb. From his chair. It's where the teacher gave. From where? So we put from. I'm gonna make this long. So we can get down below this other thing. From chair. And it is his chair. From his chair, the teacher gave Dick and Jane a stern look. Okay, remember, indirect objects, such as these indirect objects, are always found between the verb and the direct object. You'll find the indirect object. Um, that is good enough for this lesson. I think we covered what you are going to have. Carry on with your work.